guys, are you ready to do some crafting? Today we'll be using epoxy resin and we will be making some coasters. The things you'll need is some kind of epoxy resin. I buy mine off of eBay, but if you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, you can get um, amazing clear coat. Make sure you buy the one in the blue box. That one dries clear. So I will also be using this candy mold that I got on Amazon. I will link it in the comments below. And any kind of silicone mold works really well with resin because it pops right out of the mold. And I will also be using some alcohol inks. If you have alcohol inks, make sure they are alcohol based, not water based. Water based will not work. And please don't make your own alcohol inks that have markers and alcohol. Just spend a little money and buy the alcohol inks. If you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, you can usually use your coupon for these because they are a little I did buy a brand off of Amazon. It'll be here Friday. My next project, I'm going to be using those, so I'll let you know how they go. Um, so you'll also want to wear gloves when working with epoxy. And please, 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 I see too many of you ladies on here on YouTube showing how to use resin and not wearing a respirator. Please buy one because epoxy is not something you should be dealing with without gloves and a respirator on. Even if you're in a well-ventilated room, like I'm in my garage, I'm still going to wear a respirator. If I don't, I, within 15 minutes of doing this project, I'm going to have a massive migraine that will last for days. So please, 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 Amazon. I will link that down below too. They are not expensive. You should buy one. Okay, so let's get started. For the start off, we're going to start with part A. I'm using a kitchen measure to measure mine out. I have a small Dixie cup. I'm going to place it on there and zero it out so that we get an accurate measurement. And we'll start with part A. I'll be putting my mask on, so if I sound funny, sorry, I'll try to mess with the volume and editing. Now we're going to use part B. This one is not as thick, so don't go fast. Sorry if I sound like Darth Vader. It's my respirator. Okay, I had to add a little more of part B. Now we're good. So what you want to do is mix slowly. If you mix too fast, you'll get a lot of bubbles, and you don't want bubbles in your project. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I now know how Darth Vader felt with his mask constantly on. A little ridiculous. It doesn't bother me so much when I'm by myself, but because I'm trying to talk to you guys, I feel like it's overly loud with the breathing. Little pro tip, if you're going to dye your epoxy and you're going to use one color, now is the perfect time to dye it while you're mixing. If you're using acrylic paint, only use about a dot to three dots of paint because acrylic paint and epoxy don't really like each other. And if you use too much, it won't work out well. If you're using alcohol ink, you're pretty good on about how much you want to put in there. We're almost done stirring, and as soon as I'm done stirring, I take a second cup, and I pour it in there, and I do this just to ensure that everything was mixed, and make sure you scrape and get every last drop. Epoxy is expensive, so we try not to waste it like we waste storing people. See what I did there? I'm funny. I'm funny, people. Okay, now we're going to do some pouring. I like to do a thin layer at first. And then, if you have like a blowtorch, I'm using my hook and keep them. I just want to get some of these bubbles out. Don't leave 
hold your heat over one area for a long period of time, you can harden this. And, and as soon as you do that, it's over and you can't even do anything with it. So now I'm going to take some of my alcohol inks and just dot in a couple of places. And the alcohol ink will spread and do its own thing. You're never going to know what these are going to look like. It's, it's, that's why it's so fun. So the colors I'm using are flamingo, amethyst, and patina. Patina is my favorite. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute, and then we'll add more liquid. So I started a second one here while I'm letting this one hang out and dry. I see a little couple of air bubbles, so I'm going to hit those really quick. Air bubbles can ruin the So if you see, try to get them out early. I don't know how this is going to work out. I haven't done it like this before, so we'll try it out together. But I got this extra fine glitter. I picked it up at Walmart in the trapping section. I'm just going to sprinkle a little in here and see what happens. And I think with this one, we'll add some of the amethyst. And I'm going to hit it with the heat gun again. not to stay too long with the heat gun. So now I'm going to add a little more of the resin on top of the first one we started. And I'm just going to add my colors again and let them do their thing. Breathing in this wrap respirator. I feel like I have a cold all the time. I know. I wear hospital masks a lot too because I have a transplant baby who can't get sick. <laughs> and I always feel like my nose is itching. First little problem. out like I said. Let's see what happens. Really good. buying it though like if you're buying a gallon you're really getting two gallons because you're mixing the two parts together so just think of it that way you're really getting two gallons out of that one gallon yeah. I think we'll add a little of the patina now too and what the heat yeah. anything else leave them alone that's going to be the hardest part is because as soon as you think they're starting to dry you're going to want to pop them out and see what the other side looks like i'm going to leave these alone we'll come back tomorrow we'll see what they look like do not touch them good morning guys i am so excited to see these i haven't even put my makeup on yet so excuse my face <laughs> Okay, so we've left them in our mold overnight. They are nice and hard. They're not sticky, tacky, anything. So they're ready to demold. So let's check these bad boys out. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep them in view so you guys can see. How pretty is that? 
and see how it's crystal clear. That's because we did the thin layers of epoxy and we blew those bubbles out. If you don't do that, it will be a lot cloudier. And mine is shiny because my mold is shiny. So if you have a matted mold, this will come out matted. You'll have to do one of two things. You'll either have to use um, high grit sandpaper and sand it down and then do a wet sand with it. Or you could do a thin layer of epoxy over that and it'll give you that shine. And this is the back side. It looks similar. But it just looks like a little watercolor painting to me. It's really pretty. I like it. Alright, I don't know how this one's going to turn out because a lot of the glitter kind of stayed right here, but we'll see. This one's just a test to see how it would work out. Oh, it's not too bad. It actually kind of reminds me of a, a nebula in outer space. It's actually really pretty. So that's how you would use epoxy and some alcohol inks. Later this week, I hope to get a video up where we will do Petri dishes, where we will have the alcohol inks actually bloom in the epoxy. So stay tuned for one of those, and we'll be doing some uh, cups as well with epoxy. We'll see how that works out. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy crafting.